about the benefits of the, uh, free trade for them and immigration to them and even uh, perhaps a, a statement on taxes. And so, you know, this is a frustration that we're sensing not only in the UK but in other countries we're going to see it grow as the year uh, winds on here. Well, Bill, to that point, uh, you sent out a tweet earlier today with an ominous warning. There will be more. What precisely do you mean by that? Well, I, you know, I was thinking of the old movie, There Will Be Blood. I didn't want to go that far. Uh, you know, perhaps there's a little blood in the markets today. But, you know, there, there's going to be more un unrest and there's going to be more protest. We can, you know, pick the individual countries that are at risk that, uh, you know, have populist movements. It could be in France. It could be in Italy. Uh, it could be in, uh, you know, the South America. It could be in North America with, uh, with Trump and his uh, populist stature, at least uh, in terms of several of the policies that you know, populists seem to be uh, advocating, which are related to trade and which are related to immigration, and then, like I said, maybe even taxes. And so, you know, the, the people have sort of stormed the gates of the city, quote unquote, with a cap, meaning London, uh, and they're the, with a bare margin, of course, but they're making a statement that times uh, have to change. Th those statements have been made before, but now uh, we see an election in which. Uh, it mandates uh, some sort of change. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Casey Kepley. I'm with HowToPlaySTock.com and InvestorsInvestingTips.com. Um, today is June 24th, 2016, and uh, today I wanted to shoot a video real quick on uh, what is actually taking place in the financial markets right now. Um, as of last night, Great Britain decided and took a vote to uh, exit the European Union. And because of that, today the Dow Jones finished out a negative 610 points um, negative. Uh, so that's pretty substantial. A lot of the uh, analysts right now are talking about today going down in history um, next to 2008 and uh, Black Friday in 1987. So with that being said, uh, I actually wanted to talk to you guys today about the uh, asset allocation and trying to hedge yourself and protect yourself um, you know, when the, the markets take nosedives like this over uncontrollable variables that you and I don't have any control over, okay? Uh, back in 2008, <clears throat> okay, believe it or not, a lot of people who had 401k accounts uh, ended up calling those 201k accounts because they lost like 40-50% of their, uh, their wealth overnight due to something real similar to what's taking place here, all right? Um, <clears throat> you don't want to be one of those people, okay? And I'm going to show you uh, through my own asset allocation. After I'm done with this little short clip here, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you my asset allocation and portfolio and how it's responding right now uh, to this event that's taking place, all right? Because when you see it, it's pretty eye-opening, and uh, it just kind of, you know, confirms what I'm, what I'm saying here is that you need to prepare yourself guys you need to save yourselves some money and and uh, don't don't set yourself up for a whole lot of risk because it's money you can't get back okay so with that being said here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and I'm gonna show you the asset allocation on my portfolio and I'm also gonna compare it to my growth uh, investing account which is set up for a little bit higher risk it's tied into just strictly equities uh, or, you know, companies, individual companies in the stock market. So I'm going to compare that uh, to the asset allocation on my, what I call my all seasons portfolio. All right. And this is information I got directly from Ray Dalio. All right. Uh, if you don't know who he is, do yourself a favor, go look him up, do a little research on him because I'm telling you right now, the guy knows what he's talking about. And I'm actually taking my money and, and testing the knowledge to see if, you know, what he's saying actually works. And I can tell you, and I'm going to show you here in a minute, that it does work. All right? So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, I'm showing you my asset allocation on my portfolio. Uh, this would be for my uh, All Seasons Fund. It's basically set up so that it protects and hedges against events like today. Okay? Um, this is very important that you see this because it will definitely open your eyes to uh, 
you know that number one rule that we talk about in investing which is uh, don't lose your money <laughs> okay so those are just assets that I'm putting my money into now this is based on a, a ten thousand dollar investment I'm taking this from Google Finance and I'm, I'm setting this up so that you can see it uh, one thing that I'm gonna note here while we're going my uh, portfolio that I have which I'll show you here in a minute in my broker account it's actually uh, not complete uh, I don't have all of the assets that are listed here in that portfolio yet it's only about half complete uh, so I just wanted to uh, let you guys know ahead of time before we start looking at it but this is the uh, performance of my all seasons fund and that's compared to all three of the uh, indexes here S&P 500, NASDAQ and the Dow Jones now if you look at this okay I'm in the blue this is a three month out so it's this is measuring the performance from April to now I mean look at that it just absolutely exploded uh, here's six months out and then here is year to date look at that guys I'm up 17 percent okay now again this is based off of a ten thousand dollar investment uh, I don't have ten thousand dollars invested in this account because I just started it about three or four months ago and uh, it was I was basically setting it up and using it as a, a test experiment because I had gotten the knowledge um, I obtained the knowledge for this asset allocation through Ray Dalio Okay, if you don't know who he, who he is, you, he needs no introduction. Just go out there and Google and type him up. Type in his name, Ray Dalio. That's D-A-L-I-O, uh, <clears throat> if I'm spelling that correctly. Uh, it should come up, though, on Google. So here is my personal growth account. Okay. Now, my personal growth account is just specifically stocks. It's equities. Okay, now look at that down here. I'm taking I'm taking a hit right now. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody is at this point in time. I'm down uh, negative ten point two seven percent, and that's that's with today, you being uh, the Brexit. Now I'm gonna switch this over, and I'm gonna take take you to my all seasons fund. This is the asset allocation that I want to show you because I'm, com I'm going to compare it here real quick to the uh, the performance of that uh, that other account that I just showed you look at that guys okay I still took a hit in this one too but it was only it was only 1.44 percent you know I'd, uh, which one would you rather take a, a 1.44 percent loss or a 10 percent loss on your uh, your portfolios especially with uh, you know events that played out like they did today so it's pretty much a no-brainer okay now I'm gonna tell you real quick these uh, these assets here alright I'm only playing with you know a limited amount of money because I wanted to test it out and see if it actually works I want to see if Ray Dalio you know was was right about what he was saying with his asset allocation and having uh, everything set up so that you know you're measuring out your asymmetrical risk reward and uh, your risk parity is set up correctly for your portfolio if you don't know what I'm talking about well that's okay because there's there's a saying that goes what you don't know in the financial markets will hurt you well if you don't know something it, it is going to hurt you and if you don't know this what I'm showing you here you don't know anything about it that's okay I'm going to leave a link below where you can subscribe to my channel because that's what my channel is about. It's about showing you how to set up asset allocation properly so that when events take place like today, you're only losing, if you lose, you're only losing 1.44% as opposed to having something set up like a 401k where you're losing uh, 10%, 20%, 30%. You know, back in 2008, guys, they called the 401k a 201k. And there's a reason for it. It has something to do with asymmetrical risk reward. Okay, so, again, 
uh, if you're if you're not familiar with this the the terms that I'm using here it's okay go ahead and subscribe to the uh, my channel my YouTube channel here and I will release information almost on a weekly basis and I'll show you guys um, just how I have this set up and how how it all works we'll go back to the, the all seasons fun again just so you can look at these numbers the cool thing is you know if if I would have started this uh, say a year ago instead of setting it up what like in December I believe that's when I got started December of 2015 if I would have set this thing up a year ago I would be in a profit right now the only re the only reason why I'm negative really is because I'm still trying to recoup losses from commission fees that the broker takes that is the only reason why I am negative right now yeah, just yesterday I was I was actually positive and it was starting to grow uh, a little bit for me. But but I wanted to shoot this video because again this is a really drastic event that took place today. It's historical, and I can tell you right now it wiped out about two trillion dollars across the markets. Like everybody globally got hit by this thing, and a lot of people lost a lot of money. And I'm showing you a way to where you can protect yourself in your retirement accounts uh, through asset allocation and, and having a correctly balanced portfolio so that you're not losing a ton of you know a ton of money but that's all I have here again if you want more information um, I'll leave a couple links in the in the video here that you can go check out uh, for my websites that I own I talk about a lot of the, the information um, on investing and it, it acts kinda as a guideline for people who are just getting started uh, I'll leave the links uh, in the upper corners of this video so you can check those out but again guys feel free to subscribe to my channel because I have information being updated on that thing I, I usually release about two videos a week alright um, remember guys in comes the outcome and uh, be patient when the markets take a dip like this um, go ahead and set yourself up with a portfolio that's going to hedge you against it all right because the alternative is you lose all your money all right my name is Casey Kepley I'm with howtoplaystock.com and uh, these are today's investors investing tips I'll talk to you guys soon